Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this video, I will explain about tutorial 1 of industrial automation courses and about the question 1. In, in this question, a thermocouple element when taken from a liquid at 50 degrees Celsius and plugged into a liquid at 100 Celsius at time t equal to 0. Give, for, give the following EMF value and determine the 95% of response time. So, this is data given from this question. What is time start from 0 until 120 and then EMF value in unit milli voltage start from 2.5 until 5.0. So, the first thing we need to do is to draw the, draw the graph. The graph was time versus EMF. So for y as is, is value for EMF in unit millivoltage, and for the y as is, is time taken. So we plotted the graph for each value, and then this is the this is the graph that we have. After after that, we need to calculate the response time. So response time over 100 time with 5.0 the cost 5.0 uh, millivoltage represent the steady state value and that and then after we evaluate we get 5 4.7 and then this for this answer we need to draw in our graph so the graph we need to drag the line and then we get a new answer for for the uh, for the time response so from the graph above the time taken at four at four point seven is fifty seven seconds. So that is the our calculation. Thank you. Okay, now let's continue to the number two. What is the non linearity error as a percentage of full range of produce when a five hundred ohm potentiometer has a load of ten kilo ohm and is a half of its maximum displacement the supply voltage is 4 watt okay this is formula for error error equals to watt supply times resistor for potential meter over resistor times with fraction square with minus with Fraction cube. V supply is equal to 4. Potential resistor is equal to 500 and resistor is equal to 10 kilo ohm. Then, fraction is 0 0.5 because it is uh, at half of its maximum displacement. So it's become 0 0.5. Then 0 0.5 square minus with 0 0.5 cube. It will equal to 0 0.025 volt. Okay. The percentage error is 0 0.025 over 4 times 100. It is equal to 0 0.625%. Alright, <coughs> we move to question 3. A strain gauge pressure sensor has the following specification. Will it be suitable for the measurement of pressure of the order of 100 kilopascal to an accuracy of plus minus 5 kilopascal in an environment where the pressure is reasonably at about 20 degrees Celsius? So this is a uh, specification given for range 2 to 70 megapascal, 70 kilopascal to 1 megapascal. Excitation 10 volt DC or AC RMS. Full range output 40 millivolt. Non linearity and hysteresis error plus 0.5 percent. Temperature range negative 54 to 120 degrees Celsius. 
thermal shift zero, 0.03% full range output, thermal shift sensitivity, 0.03% full range output. <coughs> so for the solution is, the range indicate that transducer can be used to measure pressure between 2 to 70 megapascal or 70 kilopascal to 1 megapascal. It require a supply of 10 volt DC or AC RMS for its operation and will give an output of 40 millivolt when the pressure on the lower range is 1 megapascal and on the upper range is 70 megapascal. Non-linearity and hysteresis will lead to error of plus 0.5% of 1 megapascal which is 5 kilopascal and plus 0.5% of 70 millipascal oh, sorry megapascal which is 350 kilopascal the transducer can be used between temperature of negative 54 degrees celsius to 120% when the temperature change by 1 one degree Celsius, the output of transducer for zero input will change by 0.03% of one megapascal, which is 300 pascal, in the lower range, and 0.03% of 70 megapascal, which is 21 kilopascal, on the upper range. Therefore, the strain gauge pressure sensor is suitable for the environment require. That's all.